Professor Bari, are, are you comfortable with that? You're good with that. Can you just tell us, I mean, at, at what age, I, I, I read that you were at six months, you were able to, you were already, you know, talking and you're able to engage with people. Can you just, you know, tell us about um, your, 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 your young years and at which age did you, you know, discover that you were really good with maths and science? Well, uh, at six months old, I feel like that was my first achievement to be able to talk in at least a full sort of coherent sentence. And I and I started to well uh, really get fascinated with math and science at the age of like one and two. And my father was like a math and physics student, and so he was like doing. Uh, and so he was like when he was studying at university and college, he was doing uh, this equation and that equation. And, and I would see him writing all this stuff down on the blackboard, and I would be thinking, what do the, uh, what does this symbol, all this stuff mean? And, and I was fascinated with that kind of thing, uh, especially because I would see the repetition in those symbols, and uh, I would think, oh, okay, so there is some kind of system here. But I never knew I uh, what those stuff actually meant. And so you know, one day, my father caught my fascination with these, so I took it just uh, a boat. I messed up just a bit of courage and hobbled up to the board and started copying down all the equations. And so my father saw this fascination in me uh, with all the uh, these equations and my fascination with how and the imaginative and experimentative sector of science and so that that's what really got me into science uh, i was really interested in that imaginative part and that's something that schools don't usually show you schools usually show the boring equation full side uh, side of math and science that well uh, and that makes science boring for lots of people but uh, it was really fascinating for me i uh, don't uh, because I saw uh, that you could imagine in math and science, and that was one of the most important things in math and science. And I think that uh, the uh, creativity and the capacity to imagine is one of the most important things, especially in math and, uh, math and science, not only in art. And so you're a professor, but I, I heard you earlier on when we spoke that you decided to rather go to eighth grade and you were skipping grades. Tell us about your school experience. At which age you thought, ah, oh, let me just go to school. How did that go? I feel like my school experience had been good so far, but that is only because uh, I live in a moderately rich neighborhood, and no, that is not the case for everyone. Uh, most people don't get a good education from their school because their teachers are not passionate, but rather people who are either in it for the money or just because uh, they uh, have nothing else to do. And so the thing is, this kind of uh, those kind of teachers uh, who are not passionate, but rather or only doing it for the uh, money don't work really that well with their students. They don't really work with the students and they don't really uh, practice with the equations. They don't really know what they're talking about. All they know is the equations, the material they're talking about. Not really actually the whole thing, the entire idea, the whole branch of ideas of what they're talking about. And so I, uh, it's actually really hard to get a really good engaging teacher who can not only teach you the basic ideas and facts and complicated systems that are math and science and the part that school does show you, but also the imaginative, experimentative, and discovery sec uh, fuel sector of, uh, well, math and science. And I think that that is very important in becoming a good teacher. And that is what uh, really happened in my math and science uh, classes. And so my schooling experience has been really uh, good, but I don't uh, think that is the case for everyone, especially people who don't even have access to a quality education. And also, so which grade are you in now? What, what, what? Uh, in terms of your levels, where, where are you at? Where you thinking that you, you want to go to? Do you have anything specific that you want to achieve in terms of a career, or are you going to stick to the maths and science? 
I really, I really want to at least become somebody even like a professional because I want to try and change the educational system and I want to inspire at least one other person to, uh, to make go make a revolutionary breakthrough and think creatively and I want to show at least the, uh, the, uh, at least the amount of people that is in a class that math and science is not what they show it to be but rather actually a really fun, uh, a really fun set of, uh, a really fun set of numbers and ideas that are only built together by a few loose rules. And sometimes these rules can be added. Sometimes they can be broken by will. And it's actually just a really fun way to think creatively. And it can get you places that you can't imagine. And so I want to, uh, the, uh, my career goal for the future is to at least become a professor and to show the world that math and science is really not what they show it to be, but rather actually a really fun uh, way to discover, to experiment, and to advance our world and observe the natural world. And in terms of colleges, have you had an idea where you want to go? You know, are you, are you interested in any of them? I am interested especially in the Ivy League universities, but a lot, uh, and I have really a vision to go to at least the top five university. So I am uh, really uh, have the you know, kind of ambition, and I uh, want to persevere. And I want to persevere in order to get there, and so I think that it is very important to. I think it is very important to at least get an education from one of the most quality schools out there, like Harvard or Princeton or something of the like. So I, I have a goal to get into at least a top five university. And you said earlier you were, you, you weren't physically ready for the twelfth grade. You decided to start at eighth grade. I don't I don't think I'm ready for twelfth grade right now. Yeah, I, I, even though uh, I uh, it showed my grade level is there, I don't think I'm like actually ready for twelfth grade and to graduate into college so early.